Hey YouTube, I'm back once again. Uh, I've got some more pickups to show you. Uh, it's been a little bit, I think, since my last uh, pickups video. Um, of course, we've been on lockdown for about a month up until a few days ago. It's Sunday today, um, 6th December. So on Wednesday, I had uh, a ride into town, uh, specifically in the middle, but to go to HMV. Um, first day back, uh, first day back, first day open uh, after lockdown because there was a couple of towels in there I spotted before, the day before lockdown that I think I maybe should have bought and didn't. So I thought I'd go back and hopefully, fingers crossed, they were still there. Um, I've got a couple of other things as well, which we'll take a look at. I've ordered some stuff off eBay um, during lockdown uh, and then I went out yesterday uh, for the first proper um, look around town, look around the charity shops at least and picked up a few things in the charity shops as well. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have a good look through at uh, what I bought. So the, uh, I was working yesterday till 12, so I didn't really get out until uh, till after 12. Um, and I visited a few locations. Uh, first was Thornaby. The only thing I picked up in Thornaby was a DVD. Uh, something I'd never heard of. And it wasn't until I got home I was looking at this. It came out this year. Which might say a lot about why this is in the charity shop. Um, but I got this mainly because of the cast. Uh, the Tomb Devil's Revenge. And we've got both there, uh, although you can't see it under the sticker, but it's Jerry Ryan and William Shatner. Uh, I have no idea who Jason Brooks is, but um, from the writer of Star Trek The Next Generation, um, which neither of those two appeared in. Um, but they're both obviously from Star Trek, well, obviously for people who've seen Star Trek. Um, but yeah, The Tomb, Devil's Revenge. Um, it was a quid. It actually trades in at CEX for £1.50. So if this is a load of rubbish, then maybe I can trade it in. Um, but yeah, I thought, why the heck not? Um, after that, it was Colby Newham, um, which I picked up. Actually, I did pick up a few bits, but uh, for some reason I've got them further down in the pile. Um, so from... British Heart Foundation, um, there was very little in there, there was a bunch of boxes, but their boxes are always overpriced. Um, and then I was I was almost ready to go and I spotted something in there, uh, three for a pound, which meant I had to find, I didn't, I could have just paid the 50p. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly a Christmas movie or not, but it's a Christmas Eve movie, Jack Frost. Um, more so I got it because it's a snapper case. That I didn't have, and it's another one of these with the uh, dual aspect ratios, full screen on one side and widescreen on the other. Um, double sided disc, but yeah, as part of a three for a pound. Why not? Um, I was struggling to be fair, um, but I decided to grab this one, even though I did get a, a region one copy of this not so long ago. Um, two disc special edition of From Hell. Uh, Again, part of the three for a pound. Um, and then at this point, I really was struggling for a third. And I, <laughs> I spotted this. And now I'm not one for buying bootlegs. I don't generally bother. But this one just looks so intriguing. <laughs> I, I, I thought I've, I've just got to get it just to see what exactly what it is. So it says it's a Blu-ray. It's Cowboys and Aliens, extended edition. Also includes theatrical version okay again three for a pound um it's from asia somewhere i'm not entirely sure where i don't think that's korean it looks it looks chinese to me somebody might be able to confirm that i'm, I'm sure it maybe says something there but it says on the spine blu-ray dvd there's only one disc in there which again says it's a Blu-ray, but it also says, if we can focus, DVD. Um, it's not a burnt disc, it's uh, a proper press disc by the looks of it. 
Anyway, it is a DVD. I popped it in the Blu-ray player and uh, it came up as a DVD. Um, there aren't two versions of the movie on here. There's only the one. It does bring up the menu though. So it's got the menu, all the special features, all the um, different audio and subtitles and things like that. Um, but it's, uh, it definitely doesn't do what it says on the tin, that's for sure. Um, but there, there was nothing else. I couldn't find anything else that I wanted. So I thought this would just be a curiosity to see. Uh, and at, at some point, I had this for sale for two ninety nine. Um, it'll be going in the bin. It's uh, yeah. It was just something I thought it would be a laugh to, to take a look at, and it's uh, yeah. It was. It's just a DVD. Uh, then from Teesside Hospice, I think these came from. Uh, five for a pound on their DVDs. Um, so I briefly spoke about this place last time I'd bought something from there. Because the previous time they were doing, I think they were doing three for a pound at that time. Um, but it stated, um, what was the exact wording? Um, excludes items over two pounds, I think it was. something Something to that effect. But the over two pounds was the was the important part, and all their Blu-rays were priced up at two pounds, which, according to their sign, meant they were part of the three for a pound because they were priced at two pounds. It means they weren't priced over two pounds. Technicality, maybe, but the um, I got into a bit of a a discussion, let's say, with the one behind the counter that. Um, that they were advertising something that they weren't willing to um, adhere to. Anyway, they've changed the sign now. It says uh, it says five for a pound um, excludes um, excludes what was the word in again? Excludes anything at a pound or over. So they made sure it wasn't over a pound. It was a pound or over. Um, now one of these isn't isn't priced at all, but I imagine they were all the same price because the rest were all seventy five p. But I got these five for a pound. And again, the first one I picked up was a, a snapper case. Um, I did struggle again to find uh, enough to make up, in, in this case, five for a pound. But this is uh, a Scooby-Doo that, um, according to my uh, app on my phone, I didn't own. Um, although all I did was scan the barcode. And maybe if I have the standard edition of this rather than this the snapper case, it's got a different barcode. Um, so we've got uh, Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. Now, that title does definitely ring a bell. If I don't own it, I've definitely seen it somewhere before. Um, next up, I picked up yet another copy of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Got this one just for the for the flipper disc, or the flipper case, or the flipper tray, I should say. Um, the last time I got one was for uh, the last of my... 88 films, black cases. Just had to reach up and grab them. So one of these has got, well, both of these have got flipper trays. Um, but I changed over to the black cases. Um, but I didn't have enough. I only had the one black flipper tray. So at least now I can swap that one out. So for 20p, I'm happy to do that. Um, a TV programme that's... To be fair, I never watched because I wasn't, as a kid, um, a big Victoria Wood fan. Um, but I found Acorn Antiques. Um, my mother used to love this. Um, but like I say, I wasn't a, I really wasn't a fan. But uh, yeah, I'll give it a try. Uh, and a couple of movies that I had never heard of. Um, she's out of my league. Don't know anything about that. I do recognise the, the guy in the front there whose uh, uh, name I. Is it. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. But it was in. Um, oh, what was that? Star Wars. Fanboys. And a few other things. I think it was in This Is the End as well. Uh, and then this one, again, um, I'd never heard of. But it just looked. Well, it, it wasn't. It did look interesting, but there was. There was more to me buying this um this is um tangled 
obviously not the Disney one. Um, but j just this case has some weight to it. It's only one disc, but it's not a standard Amaray DVD case. It's quite chunky and there's a lot of plastic in here. It's definitely not an eco case, but it's also got this, which you don't see in DVDs anymore. Um, not only is it an inlay, but it's a foldy inlay with uh, sort of pictures and information, which, like I say, you don't get this stuff with DVDs anymore, unless they're limited editions. So yeah, only because I was struggling, but um, yeah, I'm quite interested in checking those out. Um, and then moving on, uh, last of all, I went into Stockton. Uh, on my way back home, uh, again, charity shops. Um, I think these all came from one of the two, no, rather, should I say, both of the two Butterwick Hospice. The first one I went into, um, just grabbed a couple of DVDs. These were 50 pence each. Um, Deep Impact. This is a, a special edition uh, DVD. Um, I don't think there's anything in there other than the disc. Whether there's anything that's supposed to be in there, I think it's more the, the limited edition slip cover that, not slip box that uh, makes this a limited edition. But I think this is a very, very underrated movie that uh, got overshadowed by Armageddon when it came out. Um, but I really do like this. Um, and I'd completely forgotten that Morgan Freeman was, was even in this film. Um, so yeah. Don't have this on Blu-ray. It's definitely one I'm going to have to try and uh, search out on Blu-ray. Uh, and quite recently, I got um, uh, the Beach on DVD as part of a, a collection, movies and music. And there's a slip inside. And I found this one, Chariots of Fire, which is also movies and music. And again, it's got the, the slip box. It has this little thing that opens, and then inside. Got the digi pack and a couple of discs. Like I say, it had the inlay showing all the other movies. Now, I have a very distinct recollection of seeing Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, years and years ago. Um, and I thought it was part of this collection. But it's not on here and it isn't on the slip on the other one either. Um, and you've got Dances with Wolves there. But I just remember it being available with. The, the movie and the soundtrack so maybe I don't know maybe there's a, another collection that another company did the same or whether this these were just like the six the first six that came out and then there was another another wave of films that came out later that included that I'm not sure but that was in HMB many years ago um, that I saw that I, I am positive I saw Robin Hood Prince of Thieves um, so whether that actually does exist, I'm sure it does, but maybe not part of this collection. Maybe there's a different collection. Uh, then uh, the other Butterwick, Butterwick Hospice, um, I found some Blu-rays. And these were all £2 each. Um, this first one, again, it's one I bought for the cast. I don't, I, I've never heard of it. It's a 20, 20th anniversary edition, so it's a, an old film. Um, a Midnight Clear. But again, you've got uh, really... Great cast in there. I don't recognise all the names, but uh, I mean, you've got the likes of Ethan Hawke, Gary Sinise, Frank Wally. I don't think I've seen anything since Pulp Fiction that I can think of that he was in. Um, yeah, Kevin Dillon, Peter Berg. I know that name, wasn't he? Uh, isn't he a director? Um, I think there's somebody else. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, Night Clear. Never heard of it, but looking forward to giving that try. Um, this is a, a 3D one that seems to have eluded me for a very long time. I finally found the original Jurassic Park in 3D. Uh, it comes with a, a slightly tatty slip cover. Um, and I don't think I've got a spare one. I've got a bunch of 3D slip covers um, that I've acquired. And obviously Peter sends me... Blue Bullet Brit sends me them from time to time as well, which I'm very appreciative of. Um, but I do have a, a pile of slip ones upstairs and some 3D ones, but I don't think I've got another one of these. Um, there is also a digital copy in here, I believe, which 
I already have this on digital. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but the usual applies. Um, anyone wants to give it a try, uh, just let me know what happens, if it works, if it doesn't work. Um, yeah, just, just uh, post a comment below just to say it worked, thank you, or it didn't work, you know, whatever. Um, that's that. And uh, then finally from the Butler Hospice, um, this I was very surprised to find, and it's not the first time I've seen something like this. Um, so I found Chuck Norris, the octagon. Um, again, this was two pounds. But what is weird is just a month or so before the second lockdown in exactly the same charity shop, I found that. Um, now that was only a quid, whereas this is two quid. So they've obviously changed the prices, but I've been in there several times since buying this and this wasn't on the shelf. It just seems weird that the same charity shop would have these two at different times, unless that one's been sat in the back all this time waiting to go out and it was donated by the same person or just by pure coincidence, you know, a few months apart, two different people have, because these aren't titles that you just come across every day. If it was something like Harry Potter or I don't know, the Hunger Games, um, you, they're, they're like everywhere. So it wouldn't surprise me at all going into a charity shop and seeing one of those films and then a few months later seeing another one. Um, but something like this, um, it's it's very, very weird, if not coincidental. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not happy about it. I really am. Uh, hopefully, they'll have some more. Um, so, yeah, Chuck Norris, uh, The Octagon. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Um, unless it was a very, very long time ago and I'm getting just getting them all mixed up. And But, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've not seen that one. Uh, then that was it for yesterday's little trip out um charity shops um so we've got some stuff here from hmv from earlier in the week and uh a little bit of ebay stuff um so we'll start off with ebay so these have uh, come over the last few weeks um so we might as well start with the first one that i got um this is a rebuy for me, uh, the Avengers, the Cybernauts trilogy. Um, I bought this quite a few months ago um, and was a little bit disappointed because as far as I knew at that time, the only release of this was a was uh, what I know now to be the limited or special edition that came in a, a digipack. Um, and that must have been discontinued network done that a few times in the past and discontinued and then just reissued in a, a standard case um but that one that i bought originally i got i think i got off amazon and got a good deal as a trade-in more than i paid for it at cex i traded it in in the hope that i'd probably find the limited edition at some point so far i haven't um i found this on ebay for about six quid so i thought what the heck i'll grab it again it still trades in for more than that um so at some point hopefully i'll find the uh the limited edition uh and upgrade it this one came from uh cinema Diso on ebay um for three pounds i actually bought two of these uh because the trade in cx for six so i traded the other one in for six which paid for both um ready or not i Knew absolutely nothing about this film other than I'd seen the cover previously in, in a CEX, funnily enough. Um, and all I knew about it was what I saw on here is more than likely it had something to do with a wedding. Um, but what happened at that wedding for everybody to be armed up to the teeth, I don't know. Or I didn't know. Um, but when I got this, I was, I was in, I had to watch it. I was so intrigued and... I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. It was so much fun. Uh, not what I expected at all. And uh, within two minutes of starting, I'm like, what the hell am I watching? It was it was bonkers. Like it says there, bloody bonkers. But it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Uh, this one is another rebuy. Um, again, I traded in 
quite some time ago um, and I've been looking for this specifically um, this is Agent Carter the complete second season um, but with the slip when I got it before I didn't have the slip um, but I've had series one for quite a while now with the slip cover and I've been looking for this specifically with this slip cover and the few times I've come up on eBay um, they've all either been just too overpriced for my liking or I've been outbid. Um, this one, I think, was was eight ninety nine and nine ninety nine, something like that. And uh, I, I put a watch on it to see what happened. And within a few hours, the, the buyer, the buyer, the seller, sent me a uh, an offer for fiver. So I jumped on it for five pounds. Um, I still haven't seen this. I've seen season one, enjoyed season one, but I haven't seen this one yet. Um, these next two, um, I was gobsmacked that I even spotted them. Um, it's a format that I see almost never on eBay. Um, and the last time I saw these particular titles on eBay was Christmas two years ago and I missed them. So this is Lazy Town, um, volume two. Volume 3. Why on earth would I buy these? These are HD VMDs. Um, which I have a player. HD VMD player. These two are actually still sealed. I do have Volume 1. I got Volume 1 years ago. Again off eBay. Um, and like I say, Christmas two years ago. These three were all for sale in one lot. Uh, on auction. And I missed the end of the auction because I was at work. I was gutted. I think they were a fiver or five ninety nine, something like that. Um, wasn't a buy now, it was an auction. Like I said, I missed the end of the auction, but they were relisted um, and the auction was like week long. Uh, and I put my bids in um, and by the end of the auction, at, uh, my bid was at £15 and I still got outbid. So I was a little bit gutted, but wasn't too unhappy that... I got outbid at a price that I was getting a little more uncomfortable in paying. Um, these were up at five or five ninety nine by now, but with I think it was three pound fifty postage. Anyway, I put in a sneaky, cheeky best offer of a three pound, thinking I'd get a counter offer. I didn't. Um, it accepted. So yeah, two more. HD VMDs for that particular collection. And finally, this lot came from HMV. Um, I went in specifically for two items and ended up coming out with a few more. Um, at the moment, the Star Wars Blu-rays are three for eighteen pounds, so I grabbed three. So I got the most recent trilogy. Um, the Rise of Skywalker in the wrong order, um, The Last Jedi, and uh, The Force Awakens. These all been two disc editions. Um, I know there is slight differences on this one to the original Blu-ray, because um, there's a commentary on this disc, which didn't come on, I believe, the original Blu-ray until the 3D version, I think, was released. Um, I don't know if there's any differences on these. In fact, this one, for sure, I didn't know. I know um, I didn't realise until I watched um, Adam's video the other night, Spin 1984, uh, that this Blu-ray is identical to the uh, original Blu-ray. Um, in fact, I, I got mine out of the cabinet and checked, and it's... It is the same, even the same barcode, so they literally slipped that Blu-ray into a new slipcover, which is a bit disappointing. I never, It never even occurred to me to look when I uh, picked it up in the shop. Whereas all the others, uh, the artwork continues on the inside, matching the, the slipcover. So they've done all new artwork for all of them. Except for that one, which is a shame. Um, but six pounds, yeah, six pounds each. Can't go wrong at that for uh, Star Wars Blu-rays and two disc Star Wars Blu-rays for that matter as well. 
so I was happy with them. And then finally, the last two were the two I went in specifically to get. Um, this is another 88 films Jackie Chan released, To Kill With Intrigue. This has been sat in the shop for a while. Um, they've got stacks of these, well, not stacks, but they've got quite a few of these, all without the slipcover. This is the only one that they had and have had for a while with the slipcover. And uh, I, I've been kind of humming and hiring about getting it for a little while. And I spotted it again before lockdown. I thought I should, but I didn't. Um, so this is the second one of these now I've got with the slipcover. Um, I don't know. I, I want to say there's four, but there might be more. I mean, there's plenty more Jackie Chan movies that 88 films have released. So this was the other one I've got. And this one's actually got the limited edition sticker on it, whereas this one doesn't. Um, which I've only just noticed that. Um, but with this style of case, this style of art, I'm sure there's at least another two um, out there. Uh, but I can't remember the titles. Um, so I need to try and see if I can find those as well. Um, whether there's any more or not, I don't know. Like I said, there's, there's a whole load of Jackie Chan movies been released by 88 Films. Um, but the more recent ones have had their own artwork style, whereas there's, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's four, another two that match these two as well, uh, and that was nine ninety nine, um, and this one I didn't buy, mainly because I didn't realise that it was out of print. Um, so this is Rabid. I didn't think this this had come out that long ago. Um, it's the 101 Films release rather than the Arrow release. Um, this is number nine in their uh, Black Label series. Um, after I'd spotted this and we got into lockdown, uh, 101 Films had a sale. Um, and they put all their Black Label releases, or most of them at least, down to 9 dollars but they clearly state on the website which ones are still in print, the limited editions, and which ones aren't. And this one has gone out of print. Um, at the time of spotting this, I didn't realise that. Um, so I was a bit gutted that I didn't buy it. And for, for £9.99, uh, yeah, I, when I went back, I was so happy that it was still there. Uh, now, they had three more of these in stock. This was the only one that had that sticker on. Um, now it does say on there, stickered stock only. And I half expected getting to the checkout, getting to the till, and them saying, oh no, it's, it's actually 14 99 because all the others are 14 99 But HMB have done this before, where they put titles out on a display at a price, a discounted price, but then they have more of the same um, elsewhere in the store that are stickered up at the normal price so they have them at two different prices so I was kind of hoping that yeah this one they had they had a certain number of each of whatever they had in this in that particular sale put aside to be at a discounted price anyway there was no problem when I went to the till he, uh, he charged me 9.99 for it so yeah I was I'm really happy. So this is the second one of these I've got now. Um, unfortunately, that that uh, sale at 101 Films has, has ended. I, I procrastinated for too long. Uh, I hummed and hard and I thought to myself, should I or shouldn't I? Um, Black Friday, uh, what, a, what, a, what a shit show Black Friday was. What a load of rubbish. Um, I am I am still waiting for some stuff to come from the post, but there's only one item I got for Black Friday, officially. Um, I mean, there's a couple of things there I got off eBay that were around Black Friday, but they weren't Black Friday uh, release. It had Black Friday deals. Um, but there's one thing I got from uh, from Zavi that should have been here by now. It's it's over a week ago. It's into the post today. Um, but like yeah, like I say, I, I didn't get that much on Black Friday and. I really probably should have got some of those uh, limited editions for, well, with a, with a, I can't remember, they were around £10 either way, they were £10, uh, but I didn't. Um, and then the sale ended. When I, when I, when I, by the time I uh, got around to thinking, right, I'm going to get them, the sale had ended. But 
101 films generally have Christmas sales, so hopefully they'll be dropped in price again at Christmas and they'll pick a few of them up. Because, uh, yeah, I'm liking the look of these um, releases. Um, yeah, now I've witted on for the best part of 30 minutes. Bloody hell. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, so, yeah, that's me pickups mostly for the last couple of days, but uh, some of those eBay items, eBay. Uh, yeah, eBay items, eBay, eBay buys uh, two or even three weeks old. Um, but at the time, like I say, that was the first one that I got off eBay a few weeks ago now. I'm still waiting on something that I ordered over two weeks ago that I contacted yesterday. No, I contacted on Friday. I got an email today saying that they're going to send out another one because it hadn't arrived. Um, so fingers crossed that will come fairly soon. Uh, and like I say, I've got uh, something from Amazon, not Amazon, Zabby, uh, on the way. Is there anything else? Offhand, I don't think there's anything else. There is There is actually... So, anyone who's watched any of my Amazon um, unboxings recently, um, there's a couple of... Uh, I think they're both entitled... Not entitled, but titled, um, is it Midnight, Midnight Mail Call or something like that. But there was two Arrow USA Blu-rays that I bought uh, on release for full price, which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, where's the other one? There it is. So both of these, um, got them from uh, Amazon US uh, on release. Now the same company that I'm waiting on sending me this other item, I've got the next one that I wanted to buy, which I cancelled recently, which was uh, Silent Running. Um, and they're selling them um, on the, on eBay for less, way less than I paid for these on Amazon. Both this one and this one, and uh, Silent Running. And I want to order Silent Running from them, but at the same time, I don't want to do it until the item that I'm waiting for that's missing is resolved. But as I'm recording this, there's only a couple left. Um, so whether <laughs> whether they'll even still have them. Um, but anyway... That all aside, um, as far as I can think right now, I'm waiting on two items coming in. Um, and I don't know how much more I'm going to buy this month because obviously Christmas is just around the corner and I haven't done almost any Christmas shopping yet. Um, and I'm going to not witch run anymore because it's gone on too long. Anyway... Uh, thanks very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video, hopefully. Um, if you manage to get all the way to the end, well done. You know what to do. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.